in a recent, I think it was Leak Spinner, one of the recent videos of his was a speech. It was a great speech. And my one caveat was that the uh, the man holding the speech, I think it was a reverend, he was basically he he was talking about how people who have faith understand that you have to you know, you have to stick to something and, you know, keep at it until you get there and it was it was an activist speech and so I posted saying that my one problem with it was that he was making this specific I'll link to the video down under so I I posted that the reverend was apparently forgetting all the times that religion was you know, keeping people down. And someone else responded and said that I was generalizing. Now, I don't I don't have a problem with the other poster, and I, I don't know, he, he stopped responding, so I don't know, I, I'm not trying to say anything negative about him, I just, I'm not entirely sure where he was coming from, I'm, I clarified my position, and I don't know, I'm not entirely sure what it was that was considered to be a generalization. So, what I'm about to say isn't what I initially wrote, but it is a... It is maybe the way I should always have been expressing it. Basically, religion, especially organized religion, is has always been used as a tool to keep people in the specific place that they were born into or that they are for whatever reason. And that, yes, that is basically my position. And that, I don't, I don't see how that is a generalization. I see that as an observation, a statement of fact. That's part of what religion is about. Religion is a set of rules. It's... I mean, not all of these are going to be, you know, written down or enforced with violence or something. That's not what I'm saying, but religion does seek to pe keep people in the place that they are, be it monotheism with the idea of sin, be it, I think it might be Hinduism, I honestly don't know a great deal about the, well, yeah, any other religion than monotheism and some of the primitive religions, but I think it might be Hinduism which has the whole idea of the castes, and basically if you're at the lowest caste your life is misery, and the people from the other castes are not at all encouraged to help these people because their idea of reincarnation I hope I'm getting all this right, it has been a while since I studied this stuff please do correct me, if at all I say anything wrong here Basically, the idea of reincarnation states that the cast you're in is where you deserve to be. That's where your karma through various reincarnations has gotten you, you know. I'm not saying that this is 
that these people are like evil or something but they are keeping people in the place that they were born into and that's yeah I don't the the other poster quoted a few cited a few examples of religiously motivated political activism and I just the problem there is this was I don't remember the exact number but just maybe five or six examples and for those examples there are countless others countless there are maybe a million billion for each of these campaigns of political activism inspired by religion where people were suffering because of religion where people were being kept down being threatened into not trying to change things by religion if anything motivates religion i mean this is the exception it is not the rule if some if if any one thing motivates activism and change, I would say it's skepticism. I'm not... Yeah, I suppose skepticism generally does lead to atheism, but forget religion here for a second. Skepticism, basically, you look at something and you keep questioning until you feel that the answers you're getting make sense. Skepticism doesn't have any exceptions. There isn't really anything where skepticism just says, not real skepticism, pure skepticism at least, where it just says, well, th those people, they're just, they're there because of something that I read in a book that was written thousands of years ago, you know. Religion is a set of rules. Primitive religions are also... It's, it's a set of rules. These might not... They're not written down, and they might not even be spoken aloud. It might just be, you know, understood. It might just be something that everybody just agrees upon without anyone ever needing to say it out loud rules for how to live life and I'm not saying that all of these people are constantly suffering or that everyone you know sometimes there are good leaders under religious rules but to claim that religion outright inspires change in society that it I mean other than when it when it's that someone religious like reads their holy text and realizes wait our society isn't the way this holy text says it should be or if they come to another country you know they might try to change that country they probably will try to change that country into you know following their the, the religion that the person who comes to this new country already follows but other than that as far as I can tell from, you know, looking at it as objectively as I can, no, religion usually doesn't motivate political activism. It is far more likely to keep things the way they are, and it's part of what religion has always been about. 
and once again, I'm not saying that the people, that everyone who has created a religion is necessarily just like looking out for themselves. Primitive religion is a good example of something that is, that I would say is usually not a case of someone looking out for themselves. It's trying to make sure that you know, things work out the way they should, because primitive faiths, it's, you know, they don't know about their en environment, and they don't have the time to sit down and study it. You know, that's the kind of thing you do when society works well, when, you know, some people have the resources, you know, emotionally, financially, you can't progress if you're constantly scared, if you're constantly struggling just to survive, and primitive, you know, tribes and such tend to, at least when their religion starts out, it's because they're struggling just to survive, you know, maybe there are natural disasters, maybe there's, there are extreme temperature changes, they have to cope with this, and in absence of knowledge and time and the resources to study these phenomena, they just they make up an explanation that you know seems to make sense to them at the time, and then they just stick with that. I've been talking for way too long about this, but anyway. Yeah, if anybody has a kicker of a counter-argument here, please do share it. I am always interested in having my views challenged. So yeah.